Hello and welcome back to the Western Wilds. Yesterday, we made quite a mess on the farm and we need to clean this up before collecting the remaining grass from the fields. To do this, we're going to need some more money though. So first, we're gonna raise some by selling wood from the trees. Let's get farming. Quite a bright morning here on the Western Wilds. And uh, yeah, it was quite comfortable in my tent last night. So uh, I picked up a couple of things after we finished last time. I placed a tent down here. Uh, so that was about 500 pounds, I think. Um, and then I've also bought a chainsaw so that we can get cutting some trees. Now I'm going to have to cut trees uh, in two ways. One, so that we can fit them in our flatbed here. And the other is they can only be cut long enough for me to actually be able to pick them up. As far as I can work out, though, we don't need a huge amount of money. The cheapest way, I think, for us to clean up the rest of this grass here is going to be to get a fermenting silo. The first tree I'm actually going to take is this one here. It's right in the middle of uh, our grass field. It gets in the way. We need to make sure it falls on our land. Otherwise, we won't be able to cut it and pick it up. So hopefully this will fall the right way. Yeah. Ah, oh, fantastic. Zigzag along the tree. Uh, that is the easiest way to clear all the branches off. If I can pick up this length here, I think we're going to be good. We'll see how long that is. That's 3.1 meters, so that's not horrible. Ah, oh, it is too heavy for me to pick up, though. If I cut this in half, we should be able to pick up that. Yes. And, oh, one and a half meters. Actually, pretty perfect for our truck. Uh, yeah, 1.4 meters, so slightly longer than this one. We're going to use a measuring, uh, a measuring log, basically, just to uh, to keep things going. So we'll put this in the back of the truck. And this one here is 1.7. We can lift 1.7. They get gradually longer. This is pretty much going to fill our truck uh this first tree which is good news uh we want to basically whoa make this uh, as easy as possible for us yeah we'll strap all this down in a minute that one across and then the last one so i've heard the bga on here is quite a good price as well so if we can get that eventually to sell off uh to sell stuff on that would be great um but at the moment i'm not too worried strap all that wood down we'll have a look and yeah look at that that's pretty good so where do we want to be taking wood best place at the moment is the train yard uh it is off to the side here in fact i think that's pretty close to where the gold uh, shed is. So we'll head down there. I didn't really talk about this truck uh, yesterday. Uh, we've got the TLX 1982. Uh, this is the classic version of it with a little bit of rust and a little bit beat up. I figured it was a, a pretty good match for what we were doing on here. So uh, I wanted to grab it. We've set it up so it's only worth about a thousand pound. So, uh, quite happy with that. Right, this is our train yard. I think I see a bit at the end that might be wood sails. Yeah, okay. So, here's hoping that we just undo this. Look at this. That's a nice warm fire there. Right, and if we go here... 1,209. That is a little bit lower than I'd hoped. Yeah, it's going to take us nearly 10 trees to get this done. So uh, I want to... Yeah, we need to, we're going to need to do it. Ah, there's where the sound came from. We had a train coming through. So we can cut anything that's on this side here. 
we've got stuff everywhere that's all broken down i really would like to have had a whole repair this up um thing for these that would have been absolutely brilliant oh i think we might be able to thin we're right on the edge here might be able to thin this down a bit then right let's try taking this tree this way it will let me cut this tree that's good because it's right on the boundary of our land i'm gonna take out this one as well this one's quite a thick one i think there we go and if we can get a two meter cut at this base that would be great it does worry me as to whether we might get a two meter cut oh that pushed this tree back and i can i cut this tree okay we'll try it no ah no this is a problem i unfortunately don't have a winch on the front of this that would have been really really useful but uh yeah the winch is not something that we have access to so i'm gonna try and cut this oh this is this is gonna be hefty let's cut this here see how this does and then go from there that is quite a thick log 1.6 is too heavy yeah oh even the really nice thick stuff we can't make the most out of because we just can't lift it we don't have the ability at the moment oh wow 1.9 i can't even do oh that one that one i can so that end one that is too heavy this one here that is not so i've had to cut the bottom section of this tree uh very much into smaller logs uh everything on here is under a meter so far and uh, and it's kind of required that in order to even be able to just pick them up so i'm gonna cut a couple more like this it is filling the trailer so uh it is feeling filling the, the truck bed quite nicely uh but i don't know if any of this is going to be worth that much i think that this would probably have been better at doing some wood chips from these because that is a lot of stuff in the boot of this i'm not sure if it's going to make us any money these are so much shorter than those nice big logs that are on there let's see i think this is going to be under a thousand pounds no 1374 wow i'm actually surprised by that that means the tree that we have at the moment is actually going to be worth a lot of money to us great oh if we can keep this up then we'll be doing well we are yeah we're at three and a half thousand uh we need to do a few more trips and see if we can get this anywhere near ten thousand if we can get this to ten thousand today that is going to change everything so yeah we've really not cut much of this tree so far right we should be able to cut longer lengths now uh i'm gonna go with about this hoping that this is gonna be enough for me to pick up oh it's too heavy yeah it's a it's a two meter length so these are gonna be two uh single meter ones not much i can do about that oh, those will fit across the way like that though which uh which is fine uh but we, we end up with about a grand per load um which means that this tree would be worth about three grand which is great three four grand that's brilliant that's going to reduce the number of trees that we have to cut uh, to get all this done everything is locked down yeah another nice full trailer or a nice full flatbed i want to clarify something from the first episode so 
we started off by grabbing two gold nuggets on here the plan very much is to not get any more if i can work my way up now without having to do anything else there we go 1320 awesome uh, if i can work my way up and uh, and not have to get any more nuggets uh, i will consider that a success on this series i think getting a couple enough to buy me my first piece of land and then uh to to get my first really basic equipment that has been absolutely what i want uh, we should be able now to work our way up and uh, and sort ourselves out here 1.8 meters and yes i can pick that up wow the top end of this tree takes up so much less space than the rest of the tree did uh what i'm gonna do then because we have a fair amount we'll try at this point to see if we can get this tree sorted uh, we'll get this out yeah i know i'm not allowed to cut this tree here but i can defoliate it apparently we'll just cut the end off which is worth nothing we can now take this tree here or this log here and get some rough estimates cut the top end of the tree i keep catching the wrong button and bang there and there and we'll cut this until it won't let me cut it anymore Track. in fact this might be the last bit i can pick up at this size i'd be yeah there we go right let's load this up the next tree i cut i want to cut one like the first tree i found not this second one uh we have cut most of the tree we've got it mostly on this trailer plus the remains of the other tree and this is not going to be worth any more money than the other tree was right into the wood cell point again and sell it wow okay 1520 is the price going up it kind of feels like the price is going up at the moment 3500 to go uh, a couple more loads like that and we would be there we will get the money that we are after now, i wonder if there's a way we can nudge this to get this where i need it to be it, it is very annoying not having the winch on here the winch would have been a very very useful thing to have had okay i think we're all right push it forward with the wheel carefully and then we should be able to, to cut the rest of this tree oh, i do love this truck the tlx 1982 is just brilliant just like actually all of 82 square studios stuff right we're going for under half a meter with the bottom half of this and i'm going to try and cut everything to roughly that length I think we're going to fit more than this in there, which is why I'm not worried about doing all these small cuts. Uh, we're going to go and find another big tree and uh, and fill it up with that. And I'm going to go and find a tall tree from the middle. That one there. Right in the dead center. Let's cut this down. I think I'd quite like to replant all of this anyway. Or rework this yard. Something something to, to sort of rework how everything in here goes. Uh, would be nice. That. Has that got stuck in the other tree? That's got stuck in the other tree. Don't try this at home, kids. This is not a safe way to do this. Right. And then I'm going to cut the other part out. And we'll take the part we got here in the middle, which will be stuck in the tree still with me. 
Should be able to pick that up. Yep. And we can take that out. How big is that? That is a oh, two meter stretch. So I've cut a bunch of logs at the bottom here. All of them are around about a meter in length. So should all fit on here quite nicely. Right, I think I've jammed about as much into this trailer as I can. Strap it all down. Yeah, oh wow. That is looking very overfull and I'm betting this is going to rock side to side like mad. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Right, we'll see how this does. We've been slowly creeping up in the amount of money, which kind of tells me that the price has been going up all day. 1,544. We are just 2,000 pounds shy of our targets. 2,100 pounds shy. I don't think we can do that in a single run. So, yeah. Two more runs it's going to be, but we should have a little bit extra on top. This truck has been far more fuel efficient than our tractor was yesterday. Wow, we are in a, such a better place with this. Open the back and we've got a one meter. Yeah, we've got two one meter slices here. So I'm going to go a little bit longer with this next slice and just see if we can pick that up and, and push it a little bit more. Uh, no, too heavy. So that's the thing. Okay, so we got a set of one meter logs here. Uh, the last one is just under uh, two meters. So I'm going to put that on first because it's fairly long. Uh, rest of these, though, nice length good uniform uh setup and um yeah should be fairly easy to get all of these loaded on here and get them transported down to the station again little bit of careful stacking and uh ooh, don't want that falling on my head and we should be able to fit all of this on yeah uh there there we are right do that down i don't think the back is going to actually close i'll give it a try but i think it's gonna oh no it has uh let's just not spend too long with all of this on here i think it might explode otherwise well we made it down to the cell point they're all still on there just let's see how much it's worth 1,782. Oh, wow. That is so close. Uh, we are just over 300 pound from the money we need today. So uh, let's get back to the farm. Let's get the last of the lo wood loaded on. And we can then sell that and sort out that mess we've made. Right, here's the last of it. So we only need 307 pounds. I think we can get that from the remains of this tree. Get things set up and uh, and start clearing our fields of grass. Uh, ready for that to regrow and hopefully get another cut uh, before the end of the year. We can get an October or November cut. Uh, that would be great. Ready to sell off a whole load of silage in December. Which is normally on most maps when the best price for silage is. Strap that down. So, last load of wood. Uh, still looking like a fairly full trailer. Which is great news. Uh, not going to be worth so much, but as long as we get the money we need, uh, we're all good. Okay, so the moment of truth. Is this going to be enough for us to complete this? Bring this into here. And bam. 
1080 we have the money we need right let's get this back to the farmyard then and we can now buy the fermenting silo we can get it placed and we can start getting some grass fermenting custom fermenting silo for 10,000 right and ideally i don't want to put it intersecting the line so oh this is this is not huge i do not know what the capacity of this is and that is the only thing that's worrying me at the moment uh, but putting it in here slightly back and not hitting the railing there right that is all of our money that we had today now used for this uh 10,023 uh grass silage 100 grass makes 95 silage uh production cost per month is 24 pounds we will collect up a load of grass we'll get it into the fermenting silo and uh and we'll see how we do and see how its capacity is um, but yeah, if we can get these fields cleared today, that will be great. I'm also going to get a mod that uh, when I cut the grass, uh, it also gets rid of the bushes. Um, I think that would be a really great mod to have, uh, especially with how we're set up on here. I'm also thinking of replacing the mower, which we currently have leased, with a smaller mower and uh, on rin rower which uh, more fits with our, our rustic setup here. You might be wondering, why have I gone for a fermenting silo over a silage clamp? Uh, just getting a bigger silage clamp. Uh, mainly because we don't really have the equipment to deal with the silage clamp. This tractor isn't very heavy. We don't have a front loader on it or anything. Um, and I was going for simplicity. Using a fermenting silo... We don't need to get a front loader immediately. Uh, we can get uh, this uh, tractor still working everything. We can use our forage wagon here to fill up with silage once we're finished. Uh, because I believe that takes it. And even if not, I can go and grab a trailer uh, that we can go and sell stuff with. And, uh, and just work it all that way. It'll, it'll work much better for us. Uh, we won't have to spend any more money trying to get ourselves out of the situation we're currently in i forgot to unfold the top of the uh, trailer and now it looks a bit weird it won't let me unfold it at the moment uh, so once i've emptied this out we'll uh, we'll see if it works overload and in it goes into the silo and then we can get it started on fermenting the grass uh oh wow we have so much space in this silo this was definitely the right choice so grass silo activate and yeah now we are creating grass silage in our fermenting silo which is absolutely perfect at some point i will probably get a rear bucket or something and uh, and start emptying that silage clamp we've got um but for now that is working really well uh we will empty or we'll get the rest of the grass off this field then fill this up and see where we are at the end of the day so we've hit the orange with the tractor so what i'm gonna have to do is take this tractor we'll head up to here because it's closer and uh, yeah, we'll get some fuel in this. I'm hoping that doesn't mean we're going to have to go and uh, make some more, uh, cut some more trees in order to, to get things going again. But yeah, we do need to put some fuel in this tractor. Don't think it takes a huge amount. There seems to be a fuel station here. So right, let's turn the tractor off refill it and i'm not gonna go be below five thousand, but tractor only takes 81 liters so um yeah 95 pound that cost me to fill up not bad at all 
The time is coming up to half past five. We are on our fourth or fifth load, I think, off here uh, today. So uh, we've got all the stuff that's sitting in the, the silage clamp as well. Um, but we are doing really well. We have already made enough silage uh, to pay for uh, to pay for the, the silo. Uh, it's amazing. Oh, I've got my pickup lifted. Let's reverse up here and just uh, get this back in and down. Um, but yeah, we've we've already made enough. If we have a look here at our stock check, uh, we've got 49,000 litres of silage. Its current value is 22,000. Uh, its max value is 25,000. Um, and that's because it's actually going through the grass fairly quickly uh, in the silage, which I'm really pleased about. Now, it is a little bit fast. Uh, I do know that. Um, but we're not looking to immediately sell it anyway. So the speed with which it's doing the fermenting is actually uh, neither here nor there. We're looking to sell in December. Um, and uh, and we're, we're going to go from there. Uh, worst case is I might sell a trailer full uh, just in uh, sort of October time um, so that we can get... A, uh, so we can replace our mower um, because our current mower is a little bit modern, I think. And I'd like to get a mower and a separate wind rower that's a little bit more in keeping with this tractor and, uh, and, and might just slow us down a little bit um, because we are getting an awful lot off of here really quickly. Well, the big field is nearly clear. It's just turned six o'clock and I am so pleased with how well things have turned around today. We've got that little strip here to do. We've got the field over uh, the other side to clear up. So we'll get all of that done next time. Uh, we might go and sell a little bit of the silage as well. Uh, see if we can get a bit of money in. I mean, it'll bring in four or five grand. Uh, I'm thinking very much, as I said, of getting rid of the mower that we've got at the moment and, uh, and replacing it with two separate pieces of equipment. Let's just tip this here and we can have a quick look at those. So tip this. And so the mower we have at the moment is this one here, which costs us a fair amount each month, I think. Uh, the cost on that to lease each month, uh, yeah, per day is costing us 85 uh, plus 178 per work hour. Uh, whereas if we were to get something like uh, this, at 2.4 meters, only a meter less. Uh, I think this would be a pretty good way to do it. Oh, mechanical lifting or hydraulic lifting. Yeah, we can do the hydraulic lifting. Only 3,000 for that, so that would be great. And then we have the choice of a wind rower as well, uh, which would fit a similar sort of age. And that is uh, this one here, this Russell Mash for 1,300. Um, I really quite like this. And oh yeah, we could go with the blue and yellow colors on it as well. Um, and that has quite a big width, 6.5 meters. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Should we go with that setup? Um, I think that would be a pretty nice one to go with. Um, I'm going to leave this here for now, though. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.